This is FFPÖ, your primary source for Austrian film and TV critique, where two minds come together to take apart the work of people who actually matter. Well, we are about to have a podcast right now. Welcome everyone to this podcast we are going to do right now. I am hosting this time, which is great news for me <laughs> instead of Paul. Last time I was taking the reins and yeah. finally he has realized who yeah. has the leadership skills. Yes, exactly. Who's, who's the boss? It's me. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm already the clumsy intern now. I thought we weren't going to connect his mic. <laughs> <laughs> That's a soundtrack. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry, Hannah. Thank I, you. I should have, I should have clarified. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We are here today with um, myself, Hannah, Paul, who yes. you're all familiar with, and Paris. Hi. Tell yeah. us a little bit about yourself. Paris. <laughs> I thought you were asking me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Paul, who yeah, are you? Yeah, people who well, have never boring. listened to Let me po- tell you something yeah. about Paul. Yes, t- that tell me. Good. Yeah, that sounds great. Yes, tell me. Paul's a great excited. comedian. Mm-hmm. He goes by Mr. Tumore. <laughs> His free time. Oh, you <laughs> son of a bitch. Okay, I'm uh, Mr. Tumore now. Yeah. Yes, that's uh, his uh, best joke so far. It is a funny joke. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> yes. I crack up. Every you time. you already downplayed it. Like yeah, it's a it's a it's a funny joke. Well, <laughs> as compared to our other jokes, which are not funny. <laughs> you have some funny jokes. You yeah. have some not so funny jokes. That's true. Yeah, but this is the creme de la creme. Uh huh. Yeah. Tomorrow is definitely. Tomorrow. Yeah, it's gonna pain me when I'm gonna cut the joke in the next few weeks. So don't cut it. <laughs> Always leave it in. That's leave. comedic suicide. I wouldn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> he would know. I know, I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah he used yeah. to be an amazing comic and then he committed to Also, suicide. I've been managing Han for years. <laughs> I've just stopped mm-hmm. recently, like a year ago. Okay. Mm. Yeah. All right. Oh, Which God. is when my career took off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you swooped well, in that, in the that, right that moment. That took some time. <laughs> maybe, maybe that's correlation or causation. We will never know. No. Nope. Nope. No. Anyway, yes. as the host, I'm going <laughs> to take yes, the reins sorry. back and I'm yeah. going to um, get this show on the road, so to speak. Mm-hmm. So we watched a movie. Um, of it was your choosing. Of Yes, of our choosing. Um, your. We chose it because it was oh, one of the most recent ones. And <laughs> frankly... We don't want to see anything old. <laughs> old movies, they're just stuck in the past. <laughs> Literally. Literally. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So this movie, it's called um, Franz Fux. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Franz Fux a lot. A patriot. Yeah. That's <laughs> the full title. Franz Look, Fux th- a patriot. <laughs> Franz Fux is <laughs> a patriot. patriot. Great mm-hmm. pun, pun title for, the, for this movie. <laughs> <laughs> if they ever tried to make a, a stumpy pun. Uh, Sex sells. Well, maybe you can let a, a German native speaker yeah. pronounce the actual title. Okay. Yeah. Franz Fuchs, ein Patriot. Yeah. That's Be- beautiful. An alternative. Yeah. Um, so but as fra- the host, I'm going <laughs> to yeah. roll with the name Fox. Fox. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah, you have executive decision power I now. I do, I do. So. so before I knew what this movie about, I, I set some categories as... Um, <laughs> We were going to yes. to take notes and discuss <laughs> uh-huh. character attractiveness. Is that the first one? Yep. That was the first one I mentioned, not knowing that Fox <laughs> is a terrorist. <laughs> so I think that now, hot, hot terrorist. with that in mind, we can all... Without hands. Let we can agree <laughs> he's a solid three. A four if he had well, his hands. Well, he's smart. He's smart. So maybe like... Yeah, yeah, whole, yeah, like, yeah. His um, brain is like a solid eight or nine. Well, which part? <laughs> yeah, the not insane part. <laughs> mm. The I want to build electric power plants part. 
that's very yeah. sexy. That 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 was like where I was like, oh, this is that's <laughs> so actually just, when you got wet. <laughs> <laughs> just to catch the listener up, I didn't really know about France Fox before I saw this <laughs> <laughs> before I saw this semi documentary. Mm -hmm. But I guess most Austrians would have would be very familiar with this story. Oh, yeah, because he's our biggest terrorist. He's your biggest, and he only killed four people. Yeah, <laughs> he oh, injured yeah. a punch, and he terrorized the, con uh, terrorized the countryside and everything, and the cities. Like, I remember the times when he was around and bombing people, and nobody knew what's go what was going on. And my family kept that mostly away from me. And I guess it helped that we didn't have a bulk and not handle this. I'm so sorry to hear that, Paul. <laughs> I feel like kept it from me. I was kept in the dark about this terror. So you no. were like what five? Um, when it all started, I think I was I was uh, six or seven. Mm -hmm. And when the whole thing concluded, I was like ten. Okay. Yeah. Wow. So it was five years where they were hunting down this guy. Three years, I think. Yeah. I think so, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah like three years. Wow, they didn't make that clear. I Paul's think really bad they, they said it <laughs> once. They said it once as a throwaway line during the movie. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah, I didn't catch it. I was yeah. just trying to catch. Ca yeah, it was like in, in the opening, like text. Yeah, it said okay. That that as well. Yeah. I was trying to catch all the subtitles. <laughs> Did you just say Paul's bad at math? He's an accountant. <laughs> well, you know, when he said it started when he was five, and then when he was ten, but then it was three years. Yeah, no. Well, I, think, I think he meant emotionally. He yeah, got over it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he got over the fact that he that's was kept what, in the dark <laughs> all this time. <laughs> with, when My I was, parents lied to me. <laughs> when I was 10, Windows 98 came that's out fair. and we got internet. And that's where <laughs> I started to, okay. to alter with the stuff. God is old. So this is a guy. <laughs> and we're, he's, <laughs> he set off bombs in yes. Klagenfurt. <laughs> Graz. Graz. Wien. Wow, he was all over the place, setting yeah, yeah. up bombs. But only four people died. That's, you know, just the quality the of the time. Austrian Postal Service at, at, at witnessed right there. Yeah. Like, they got the letters delivered like, <laughs> nearly 100% of the time. Wow. And, yeah, nothing got lost <laughs> in the mail. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Did they not send out a warning, like, you know, to be careful <laughs> opening letters or, you know, something, some kind of a inspection thing? With, Again, pre-internet for most stuff. So the only way to receive stuff is by letter, you, you know? Yeah, but I feel like when, when police then go to, like, high-profile people and political parties and start checking their mail, you yeah. know? With what? Like a like, like a scanning device or... Something. Yeah. It must have something. <laughs> a metal detector. A dog. Or maybe just, just hit them from afar with, like, I don't know, just... Yeah, <laughs> throw a spoon at them, you know, like if yeah, it yeah. explodes. So the bomb. How did, how oh yeah, that's the old spoon test. Yeah, yeah, I heard yeah, about yeah, that one. Classic, yeah, an old yeah. classic. <laughs> Hannah, you wouldn't know you're too <laughs> yeah, yeah. young. I'm too old. <laughs> my, my my grandfather used to do that with 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 when when he set up <laughs> with explosives. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> <a classic. laughs> this took a twist. <laughs> <laughs> no, because my what's, my, what's my grandfather's grandfather? first name is also Franz. But let's be honest, is your Franz. surname Fox? <laughs> <laughs> I wish it would be Fox. <laughs> it's Paul Fox Serenger. <laughs> he, he changed it. Yeah, the J stands for Fox. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Yeah, uh, so the attractiveness of the yes, characters. Yes, exactly. Sorry, I, I, it's, yours, it's, it's all yours for the taking. Thank you. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's okay, but if it happens again... <laughs> I will be <laughs> reprimanded. You Okay, well, no, that sounds kinky. But, you know, <laughs> <laughs> but Paris will stick his microphone up your butt. <laughs> that's, a, that's a tall that's order. Kinky. That's a... That's a yeah. All right. Um, <laughs> so I figure instead of doing character attractiveness, yes. let's just focus on character overall and okay. I, I want to talk about him kind of from a psychological standpoint because yeah. I really covered that a lot in the documentary right and I also want to talk about I said genre but obviously we're now aware that it was a semi-documentary <laughs> yeah um so true to the description so I want to talk about more the format of the movie if we liked how they did the documentary how okay. they mixed it with you know their own so you want to introduce the first segment now and <coughs> sure, 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 sure. Yeah. Let's start with f format. Let's do that. Yep. Okay. So say format so I can. Format. <laughs> Got them. <laughs> so you don't. Format. <laughs> nice. All right. Okay. Awesome. That was lame. So for. Okay, you do it. <clears throat> format. 
Oh my god. <laughs> I told you not to let your true voice shine. <laughs> Save your singing voice. Save it. <laughs> okay, so yeah. the first first things I wanna wanna ask is why would they choose Fox for a documentary? <laughs> Hear me out here. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Why, why did this so strongly grip the Austrian imagination? The, the, well, again, it was like years of non... It's the only terrorist we have, Hannah. Yeah, it's the only thing really? we have. What yeah. was Hitler? No, he, Hitler God. was a terrorist, really? He was I a, think he, terrorism was a part of his whole shebang, for sure. Yeah, but... There's a little bit of terror involved. He himself never blew somebody's hands off personally oh shit no he was in the first world war fuck okay doesn't matter <laughs> well anyway uh, <laughs> yeah, i dug myself into a hitler hole here i'm uh, wondering if he's like if part of the fascination here is because he is a white german austrian you know yeah. like he so many people austrians and super racist yeah. and super racist and yeah. austrians you know especially from that time can mm -hmm. Relate to him and his views in a lot of ways. Yeah. But obviously, probably could not relate to the fact that he's out there, you know, bombing shit and sending yeah. cray cray mail, you yeah. know? <laughs> cray cray mail. <laughs> That's the Never. new Google service. Yeah, yeah. Cray, cray mail. <laughs> Send letter bombs instantly to your friends. Exactly. Like, I, I'm thinking if he had been a Muslim terrorist, would they have made a documentary where they're exploring his psychology? Uh, would people have been interested? I think that uh, maybe also your american yeah. uh, side jumping in a little bit but let's be honest if he hadn't been a white supremacist the story could have been way different definitely yeah like maybe yeah. that he didn't even make it to the trial or something like that well, there's still there's still conspiracy theories that he never could have achieved uh, his final goal at the end of the movie uh, mm -hmm. And that the police helped him out, under air quotes. That they oh, helped yeah. him hang himself. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, oh. that, that, it's a conspiracy theory. It's bogus. It's bogus because. Well, I'm just thinking. Like, do we have? Are there any documentaries about Muslim terrorists or, or people who do things like for religious reasons? Like, right. I feel like yeah. people are generally interested in Islamic terrorism and like that, but they wouldn't yeah. profile one guy. What's interesting about him is that he has views that a lot of people related to and right. agreed with. Yeah, he was. But I, I would, I wouldn't call him a classic terrorist in that sense. <laughs> What's a, class? it's yeah, a classic? Yeah, he's definitely terrorist. not classic. He's not. He, I think that's why he's fascinating as well, is because yeah. they're talking. So I mean, it almost sounds like when they're talking about him, even the police. Yeah, they, they kind of respect him. They yeah, admire yeah. him. Yes, definitely. Yeah, yeah, no, no, they have a certain respect for his mind and yeah. for his. Uh, let's say misguided ambition and drive they have a i think they have a respect for his intelligence and like his i, I obviously they look down upon his yeah. acts <laughs> but i think they they all are talking so much about you know his um again he looted them also for years so yeah he's, yeah like so you, gotta, you gotta give he, him credit yeah again, he's, I guess. he's 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 like from like a moriarty of sorts i guess or yeah. in that kind of uh, ambiguousness on of what the enemy actually looks like right. for those first three years yeah. yeah so did you guys like the format did you like how oh, they made it i'm i mean it's hard to make it into only documentary because yeah i don't think there's like enough video enough, material yeah enough there. like yeah. data yeah. to use to like just you know film people and to talk about this one guy because he was like a social butterfly you know no yeah. one really interacted with him yeah so i feel like this was like wait you said he was a social butterfly social yeah. butterfly means you are very social oh well a social uh, <laughs> social <laughs> cocoon he's, he, he's, uh, he's a alligator. social he's a okay. social no. uh playground squirrel <laughs> i don't know what like what's the opposite of butterfly it, it can be an the insect opposite of a Yes, fly. it has to be maybe a fish. A tank. A cocoon. Just make him into the cocoon. That's oh, not okay. an insect. It's too close. No? A right. cocoon is not He's socializing with anybody. Yeah. And Fine, yes. I guess so. And I, I guess a, a cocoon that never will blossom. Yes. Would be the correct yes. analogy. Yes. yes. Allegory? Whatever. All right. Yeah. Uh, he was a social dad cocoon. 
Yeah. <laughs> so, thank you. So there's just not enough people who could like just comment that on his. I don't know. It was like, weird. We did get some coworkers character. chiming in, like yeah. that one woman who was like, "Oh, I always felt very comfortable." Yeah, with but him. that's like the only company he ever really worked for. Right? Yeah. And yeah, interacted yeah. with people on a yeah. daily well, because basis. I guess um, uh, assembly line worker is not the most yeah. <laughs> socially interactive job. Yeah. Right. So <laughs> I think I think considering that this was like the only way to make it into like a, a real movie. Yeah, without yeah. compromising it in a way to make it look like a, a like a bloated piece that yeah. that only mm -hmm. serves the to the pleasure of the viewer yeah. i guess yeah. because there are parts that make you very uncomfortable especially when you they switch you from from karl markovich's performance mm. which is amazing in my opinion oh yeah he's so he represents him perfectly they're both <laughs> ugly mugs <laughs> no he and was that, he, he yeah. really was just like exuding psychopath <laughs> <laughs> no. channel the most the moment where you really wanted to kill somebody and then keep it yeah, bottled yeah. in for 50 years and then he, he was i had all this complexity in in the character he really yes. he did that well yes yeah and uh, for that I, i have to congratulate them to make that at least a little bit more entertaining yeah a little bit more entertaining while not compromising on the whole heaviness of the subject how much how much real footage did we actually get we got uh, like the interviews we were all interviews, real yeah. obviously yeah the interviews were real yeah. those were real people talking about I it i think the only time where they really took some license was with the bomb yeah. where he blew where he blew uh, the car yeah exactly the car thing mm -hmm. where where he ran out because that was obviously filmed yeah. afterwards But in and the courtroom, was that real? The whole yeah, 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 yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Wow, so That's really why I was so fascinated by the by the judge. I'm like, this is not a character. Yeah. He <laughs> actually chose those glasses. <laughs> 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 He like yellow tinted glasses for my for my already sick sick looking skin. Yeah. Sounds like a good combo to me. <laughs> that judge was not having it. He was not putting up with the bullshit. Oh no, no, he was he was very adamant about yeah. about that he will throw him out yeah so it was nice it was nice how they mixed the real footage with some they recreated things sometimes to be honest like the interrogation scenes felt a little too fake like when they had him standing oh, yeah. and talking mm -hmm. in what interrogation would you allow the person to just stand there in front Austrian of you in the <laughs> interrogation room do they do it would they just two they, officers sitting there and then the guy standing they, they, screaming his beliefs yeah um yeah Yeah, I, I'm, that I'm sounds about accurate. No I'm handcuffs, sure no restraint, nothing. No. Like they, they only can restrain you if you endanger yourself or somebody else. Well, I feel like he's already he had kind no of done hands. that. Yeah, but he doesn't have any bombs on him, and he already doesn't have any hands. So who's well, he? Who's why not give him a chair? Why was he not sitting in a chair? He had a chair. Yeah, but he chose to not sit. Yeah, they offered it to him like three know? different times at the beginning of the movie. All right. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> you just didn't. That, that pay was attention. part of the movie. <laughs> <laughs> I must confess, I slept through most of this movie. <laughs> It kidding. is quite hot. It's It extremely is. humid in here. I'm yeah. sweating balls. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> Thank you. Friends fuck sweaty balls. <laughs> New movie title: <laughs> Friends fuck sweaty balls. Yeah. Almost as <laughs> you're saying friends, like friends, <laughs> friends fuck sweaty balls. Yeah. Anyway, so mm -hmm. okay, so you liked how how they mixed the footage. Yeah. We liked. The well, it's acting. not my favorite format. But yeah. I think I think it's the only way you could make it work, and yeah. they did an okay job. Right. Doing that. Yeah. And I mean, they could have they could have gone for the the like really cheap reenactments. They could have just had somebody who was <laughs> way less talented <laughs> as yeah. the actors that it they was, actually yeah, got. Yeah. They did have good actors. Yeah. yeah. Like the acting was spot on. It yeah. was. It was. So so I think that because that distinguishes this from a cheap f made for a TV movie. Yeah. Is that the reenactments actually make you don't pull you out completely from the belief that this is still the same narrative and the same thing, basically. Okay. Yeah. For me, I think like not knowing who this guy was, I think they kind of made it made this whole semi-documentary with the 
intent that, oh, it's going to be watched by people who already know who he is and are already very familiar with the story. Yes. And I think, like, for me, it would have been more interesting if they had built it up, if they had started with, like, the events, the happenings. Right. So I'm on board. I'm like, oh, my God, these bombings are happening. Yeah. And then we go into the biopic of this guy who's behind it. They dove right into, like, here's the guy, and we're going to start exploring his psychology immediately. And then the story kind of, you know, rolls up behind yeah, that. Yeah. Behind that, yeah. So I don't know how, for, for you both, maybe that was the best format because yeah. you don't want to go through things like you're already very familiar. Yeah. But I think if they wanted to tailor it to a wider audience. Right. Yeah, I get that. There should yeah. be an international release where they had like add 10 minutes of footage at the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> where it's just young, young, uh, uh, not, not young, but fresh terrorist Franz Fuchs and his recent exploits or something like that. Yeah, like an or like reel. just start with the bombing. Start with the news coverage of right. like people are scared of like, oh my god, what's okay. happening? There are bombs going off, and yeah, and then be like, oh my, god, is it one guy? Is it many? It's a whole, you know. I'm sure in the news they must have speculated. Oh yeah, is it a whole group? Because he kept saying it is. And it's the '90s, so the the whole you had the whole shebang of of uh, glamour magazines that just went for well, not glamour magazines, uh, tabloids. Mm -hmm. Like they, they already existed in like <coughs> the, the most aggressive form back mm -hmm. then as well. So they, yeah. they just ate that shit up. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that, sure. sold, that sold a bunch of newspapers. Yeah. And again, pre-internet. So they were still making bank on that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure he must have had like quite a few people who were kind of in support of what he was doing. Didn't he like because it seemed like when they were talking about all these things that people were writing on the Internet, I mean, maybe they wouldn't publicly say that they're in, but people who really supported his ideology and his views. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Uh, so they this. Oh, sorry, Paris. You, you, you were looking sorry, at zone out. Uh, <laughs> 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 just this the, is the so like, boring. <laughs> no, the, the social butterfly spray is just, huh? I don't know, just. Butterflies, if you touch them, you can like break. You're stuck on that. <laughs> you can like break their little wings, and then they can't fly anymore. So like, every time I've used fair. the phrase "social butterfly," have, you've just like nodded and smiled, have no idea what possibly. I'm talking about. Possibly, it w it should be something that's more beautiful to look at, and the point is not very fragile to the touch. You're like dog, you know, social dog or something. <laughs> I like, didn't make the phrase. The yeah. social butterfly it just means like their butterflies are going from flower possibly to flower. Possibly husky. That means they're going around. It doesn't just mean that they're open and friendly. It means that they have a lot of different friends that they are with or socialize right. with a lot. So butterflies go from flower to flower. I think that's maybe where it came from. Cool. Mm. So <laughs> why don't you sit on that for a little while mm. and Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, uh, join the conversation whenever you're ready. <laughs> 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 what did we think about that? I think soundtrack f fits in with format. Okay. Yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. So no extra segment needed. <laughs> All right, nice. Sorry to jump that on you, but no, no, that's Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I think you you can go lighter than I can. <laughs> Upsetting. Mm -hmm. Anyway, yeah. well, at least there's no con nobody <laughs> will will confuse you for a pair of lesbians if you have sex in your room and somebody overhears you through the wall. Cause that because that is our concern. Certainly, like, oh god, Thank but god. if they think we're lesbians, <laughs> <laughs> we're banging each other right now. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, back to Fox. Mm -hmm. What did we think? I think we could like recreate Let's the recreate soundtrack it. right yeah. here, just <laughs> us. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Paris, Let's take let, it away. Yes. Boop 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 da boop. No, it was more like. Ba, 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 yeah. Ba, ba. That's about it, yeah. It's like free jazz, but... It's literally a guy that doing that is the... <laughs> and a little bit soundtrack. of string instrument. A little bit of string, yeah. Yeah, yeah but <laughs> like they only start they like paid, two minutes in. <laughs> yeah. They paid a guy for 10 minutes. Yeah, and exactly. He just tuned his bow and they're like, thank you, we have yeah, everything. we have everything. <laughs> yeah. Where's and our baba keep, guy? <laughs> they keep using the same song over yeah. and over and over. Like we, we already spend our whole budget on Karl Markovic. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I could see what they were going for. Like, it's like a creepy little whisper, like a little, yeah. oh, sociopath, blah, blah, mm -hmm. like, blah, blah, blah. 
you know. Somebody who talks to himself and it's nonsensical yeah. in itself. Exactly. Yeah. I saw what they were going for. Yeah. But after a while, I just started cracking up because I'm like, <laughs> it's just too much, you know. <laughs> Like maybe they should should have uh, mixed it up a little bit with some cha 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 cha. That would have been even weirder. Is because that social bad, no, because cha 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 is the uh, uh, Terminator <laughs> sound cue. Dun dun oh. dun dun dun. Ah. Uh, yeah. Cha 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 cha. Oh, that's that's a stupid. <laughs> so that was Naked Lunch, who's mm-hmm. doing the soundtrack. Right. Yeah. Okay. Austrian band. So we feel like there could have been some more variety, I'm guessing, is what we're, we're, we're going with here. Yeah. All right. Well, then let's move right on. Okay. There's not much more to say about the soundtrack. <laughs> That's fine. We've covered it all. <laughs> yeah. So um, we were, I did set a category as character development. <laughs> Obviously, <laughs> fuck okay. some. No, that there was a character development. Uh, okay. One, one character development. <laughs> I'm just going to lump it into one category and we're yeah. just going to talk about his character overall. Okay. You know, from like, you know, all the psychology they were talking about yeah, behind yeah. it. So I'm going to go ahead and say character. All right. Development. No, not development, just character. So character. Yeah. So the, the one character development was yeah. Franz Fuchs with hands. Franz Fuchs without hands. Yes. <laughs> That's how he developed. Also, Franz Fuchs alive. Franz Fuchs dead. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That Spoiler. was his final. <laughs> <laughs> Spoiler. Spoiler. <laughs> so, did like, hang I'm himself. watching a documentary, a documentary about Osama bin Laden. What happens to him <laughs> at the end? Well, see, it was a surprise to me. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh my God, he's hanging himself. <laughs> <laughs> were you I thinking? Were you thinking that at the last moment somebody busts in and unties it or something? I just wasn't expecting the hanging at all. Yeah, I don't know. But see the dangers of telephone cables, right there. That's and why that's we have why smartphones. We have cell phones. Yeah, or else terrorists would still be alive. <laughs> 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 yes. Anyway, so should have gotten a Nokia. They did. So there was a lot of. The, the thing was about this documentary is I feel like they, they came at it from a lot of different angles. It sometimes mm-hmm. seemed like their focus was the police investigation and how yeah. they were doing that and how it's revolutionary. And then there was another focus that was like the psychology of a killer and the psychology yeah. of this how one How to guy. hunt him down and, yeah. and uh, the, 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 the different approaches they took. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They, they were all over the place with that one. They were a little all over the yeah. place. They could have handled that, I think, a little more yeah. structured. Then the, the whole racist aspect with yeah. the, with the romas and then they like would pop this question every now and then yeah. we're like was he mentally ill was he great like was he crazy no he's not crazy. is he crazy you know and i like feel like that's something that could have been really dealt with a lot more like uh-huh. yeah is this guy because that's what everyone is wondering like that's what everyone wants to say is that he's mentally ill yeah do we think that he is mentally ill and he said yes at the end that was his conclusion was like he's yep a, he's crazy at least on the spectrum yeah <laughs> well he's on the spectrum of mental again okay. again yeah. uh, he has some uh genius attributes but all in all his character says um so but so does twisted. he really like all it says is oh he did well in school but he got bullied and but he, still like he, he was only he, best of his class once in second grade that's what he says yeah and then it just stays like, oh, he could build bombs real well. He must be a genius. Right. Like, I, you know. Again, no internet uh, back then. Like, he had to, yeah. he had to, he had to actually, actually read a book. Yeah, yeah. not a YouTube wow. tutorial on how to build I a mean, pipe bomb. I mean, we can bomb. all build bombs. <laughs> not a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> just but a disclaimer. T- I feel like we are point, not, <laughs> we're not point, advocating like, yeah. bomb building. <laughs> what I'm saying is they kept saying, like, how smart he is and, like, what, what a genius yeah. yeah i don't know like almost scientists he could be yeah i almost wonder if that is know. like we were saying earlier something the police had to say because they're like there's a reason we couldn't catch him for five years like <laughs> he's clearly a genius <laughs> nothing slips past us <laughs> you know but it is a good point because they like everyone was talking about how smart i i feel like almost that's how they made him a more intriguing character you know yeah instead of just being like here's this guy building bombs he's a racist they're like he's a genius he had all this potential and yeah. then they go into like he they make it seem almost like you know he had they humanized him yeah to, yeah they humanized him to a level that uh was still acknowledging his atrocities while also making sense of them in a way yeah i like in a weird way 
it was like they they were trying to make him into a much more interesting person because he had done this. I mean, obviously yeah. he is interesting because he's done these bombings, but yeah. they're trying to like build this backstory too, where they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. he had these intense obsessions. Mm-hmm. He had this like, and I mean, we don't know. We don't know. I mean, people really yeah. obviously looked into him a lot. So, and again, <coughs> nobody, nobody with a smartphone that like filmed him during work when he had exactly. like a mental breakdown or something. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so it's all humans memories we rely on. Yeah. And that that skews the data immensely over yeah. time. And even even though the, 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 the time difference wasn't that big between the documentary and the, the, the demise of, of Franz Fuchs, um, still it's not the freshest anymore. And right. yeah. So the, the, if we're if we're gonna talk about his character, so though, funny what we're doing right now. Huh? It's so funny what we do. The, the, the movie is really dark. Just to clarify. Yeah, it's yeah. hard to really make this into <laughs> <laughs> a funny jolly podcast. <laughs> yeah, we had the butterfly thing for a while. Paris brought it back. It was really yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> and comedic relief. Oh uh, yeah. Doing my job here. He he does look like a Labrador that would star in a in a in a Disney production. Yeah. Paris? Yeah. A uh, Labrador? Like motion capture, if they motion capture his face, he would be a Labrador. For sure. A lab. Yeah, a brown lab. Mm-hmm. Chocolate lab, as uh-huh. they say. Really? They say chocolate lab? Yeah, that's what they call the brown ones, yeah. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. You're but I live in Austria, anyway. so... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who is in glass houses shall not cast glass racist stereotypes. What? <laughs> just no. Uh, just no. It's weird how they kept bringing up fucks um, <laughs> issues with uh, who with gives women. A fucks? Who gives a fucks? That should huh? we should coin that. Yeah. His issues with women. You know, yeah. they're like trying to like, and they're like, well, that was so random. It was like yeah. a random s- segment because he was about bragging like, about it. Well, no, he was not. He was like, oh, they don't really like me. Uh, I'm they not, don't, find they me don't consider me but attractive. He, no, but, but he I didn't bragged have, that he had a girlfriend. No, he didn't brag. He just said, like, he was that asked. That is and bragging she, because they never found that girlfriend. The girlfriend never existed. Well, yeah, he made it up, but he didn't brag. That's, he, that's bragging. Well, that's lying. In, in the movie, at least, he only answered a question. Oh, yeah, okay. And he enough. lied. But he wasn't like, well, yeah, and you know what? <laughs> <laughs> she loved it. <laughs> she loved this dude. <laughs> I was the bomb in the bed. Uh, if he had said that, they'd probably be like, okay, this is, you're dealing like, with a pure genius. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so, so why uh, why are they so intrigued by his his lady problems in the I don't in the film? know, I don't know. Just to make him more of a Like they spent weirdo. a long time, they spent a long time with the police being like, he never actually had the relationship. Especially, especially because his best friend looked way more than a, more of a creep than he did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Also, when they were talking like his childhood friend, who was then his colleague. and the his, <laughs> boss. his boss. It was his boss. Oh, right, right, yeah. right, yeah. And he was like, well, you just needed to know how to handle his attentions. <laughs> and they're like, what do you mean by attention, sir? And he's like, well, he could be very intense. <laughs> yeah, they literally had to ask him to repeat. Or to explain everything he just said. Because it was so weird yeah. and fucked up. Yeah. I'm 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 amazed there's no Franz Fox uh, gay fan fiction. I'm <laughs> with his you're with his best I'm friend. I'm not so amazed. <laughs> <laughs> that does not astound me for one second. Uh, to be fair, I haven't googled it yet. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I might find some. If I find some link in the description below, ah, that might be a crime. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, yeah. not, I'm not sure on that. <laughs> Can you write fictional material about? Terrorists that, uh, yeah, probably functional material. <laughs> wow, All we right. have a little oh. Paul over here. We have a little Paul over here. Um, uh, I apologize for that. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> yeah. All, All right. right. I'm gonna retake the reins. Here. Please, sorry. <laughs> for this runs away from me. I haven't even noticed the dick. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna take a picture and put it on the podcast because holy, that's a veiny dick, man. Holy, it's very accurate. Thank you. You, you, you caught it very nicely. But he's talking yep. about Paris has just exposed himself, and Paul just noticed that his dick has been hanging out this whole time. <laughs> he's losing it right now. 
<laughs> That's a veiny dick, man. <laughs> no, uh, Paris, does, Paris said Does doodled. your ball sack have some little abs on them? What is happening? <laughs> <laughs> That's a really strong dick. That works out at the gym three or four times a week. Thank you. It's, okay. It's her work. It's mostly pull-ups. So obviously you haven't been nu- using your notes a lot since you just noticed the drawing of a huge <laughs> dick. <laughs> to be fair, your segment recommendations were were a little bit hard to follow sometimes. So hard to, to follow. <laughs> I said it to your face just now. You just looked away. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was I was. Well, how am I supposed to make yeah. categories if I don't even know it's a documentary about a terrorist with stumpy arms? Oh yeah. Huh? <laughs> I would have made a category called Best Limbs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Best Limbs. <laughs> but we're fans of Best Limbs. Okay. Penis does not count. <laughs> what were you going to say, Paris? Yeah. Sorry, what? <laughs> we are I now at Best anything. Limbs. Oh, you kept opening your mouth. like. All right, so Best Limbs. Yeah. Um, so in general, I think legs are my favorite. Okay, <laughs> you're so serious about this. Okay. Yeah, yeah, no, like no. Let's, let's fucks, take this serious. Yeah, fuck slags or no legs in general. In general, yeah. Oh, so your legs kind of because guy. I like walking, I like standing. So would you, you rather know? have, huh? have mm-hmm. no legs or no arms? Again, I would, I would choose legs. No legs. Yeah, because I still have like most of the what? internet uh, stuff now like... is voice activated, anyways. Wait, you would choose no, I feel like and the bionic the arms, to, which are pretty decent, and the and legs are still sh- pretty shit. Yeah, so you would yeah. choose to keep your legs and have no arms. Yes, mm. that is the same choice that I would make. Uh-huh. You're both uh-huh. weird, right? And Paris thinks that is crazy. There are wheelchairs. Also, Why I would will you give never up your have hands? to use dumbbells again, which I'm just very happy but about. But you, you would have to like squat. Yeah, I'm fine with squats. It's those dumb dumbbells. How do we? How did this? <laughs> how did you want legs or arms devolve into which workout is better? <laughs> Squatting or it. lifting dumbbells? <laughs> <laughs> that's a, that's our escapism right now. You, from got, the you guys are just weird for choosing. I am sweating <laughs> I so much right now. Uh huh. Yeah, me legs too. Over hands. It's gonna be a real nice relief when you open up the door mm-hmm. and leave yeah. this <laughs> hellish place. <laughs> anyway. <Let's panic> <laughs> Um, yeah. Um, so it was interesting, though, that Fox made such a big <laughs> point of always he was rejecting anything. He was like, oh, I don't want people to Help sum me. this up to oh. being like, oh, I had a bad childhood or, oh, I had like bad parents or anything. Or he, he wants it to be like, he's like, I'm not crazy. He, he's very adamant about not being crazy. Yeah. And that's interesting to me. You know, because crazy people often don't know that they're crazy. <laughs> that's that's one of the aspects of being crazy. Yeah, is that you can't, you can't self re- self self reflect and be like, oh shit, I did something yeah. horrible right now. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Oh shit. Um. So well, what do we make of this, Paris? <laughs> well, I don't know. I mean, like he obviously realized that he has or had done mistakes, right? Like that's what the movie shows. So I feel like he knew he's uh, not, you know, completely sane up there. Okay. But he just didn't like. That's why he kept repeating it, right? Because yeah. he he said like, okay, I know I'm weird, but I'm not insane. Even though he like clearly was. Did he say yeah. I know I'm weird? I don't think he. No, ever I'm, I'm pretty sure weird. he he realized. Because oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he yeah. said like, oh, girls don't like me. Or yeah, what, you know, I'm, like, I'm 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 a I'm a strange fella. I got Basically. bullied and yeah. whatnot. You know, I'm, I'm sure he... Yeah, and yeah but I think he... Yeah. I, how I interpreted it was like, he's like, oh, I'm a little socially awkward, but he was really firm in like the, his principles and that he was doing the right thing and that these are the right things to do and that, oh, he made some errors in the fact that like um, he didn't want people to die. Yeah. Is that... But how He how wanted to... Again, that could also just have been a play. Yeah. Again, he, he was smart enough to... Uh, play up the craziness the moment he got into in front of the public eye yeah like you you saw the the footage of him screaming and being crazy in front of the judge and and that was all real but he faked it in the end that was all an act to 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 make the people believe that he indeed is this nut in the end but then 
even in the at least in their when they're re- when they're showing these interrogations, he is very adamant. He is like, yeah. I am support. I'm doing the right thing for yeah. the Austrian, for the German Austrians, and they're coming in, and yeah, yeah. and they need to go back. And we're how did we grow? Like he really has these beliefs. He has yeah, these yeah. crazy and beliefs. The, and the funniest thing is, it's Austria, which always had a very interceded uh, relationship with the other countries that we used to own. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we have so many Novaks. That's how, why. That's why we have so many, uh, air quotes now, uh, foreign names that are very, very common in Austria. Just because Austria was so so diverse for such a long time, and Carinthia especially is is one of the when it comes to genetic makeup, one of the mi- most mixed ones in Austria. So great place. Yeah, <laughs> we have a Corinthian amongst us. Uh-huh. Quite yeah. mixed himself. A Corinthian. It's no. Corinthia. Yeah. A. Yeah. Corinthia is in Greece. I said Corinthian. Okay. Cool. 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 Um, yeah. Um, cool. So. So. Uh, God damn it! I forgot the question. <laughs> Just about him. Well, he has these beliefs, and he's like, yeah. "No, I'm not crazy, but mm, obviously there's a little bit of cray going on because you yeah, don't yeah. just go bomb people unless yes. you've got a screw loose." Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. So, what was the question that he's crazy or not yeah yeah, yeah. He's mentally Ill or like how, well, how crazy do you think certain he degree, is definitely if you, again murder is a pretty good indicator of premeditated murder mm-hmm. uh is definitely a pretty good indictment of somebody's psyche mm-hmm. yeah it's not like you're going or, again yeah you're not going like oh no the mcdonald's is five five minutes too far away i'm gonna yeah. put my uh, BMW you through I don't know twenty people or something like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, also because I don't own one, but <laughs> you, I would, if I had an SUV, man, I would be, <laughs> I would be so fast. I just go through people. <laughs> it's like a, uh, opening up a piñata <laughs> filled with entrails. Oh. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Anyway, hey, we saw some entrails in this. Not entrails, face probably. Yeah, no, just hand. pieces of skin. Yeah, like mostly hand probably. Yeah, yeah. Some fingers. Yeah. There was a lot of hand in here. Yeah, that was pretty juicy. Yeah, <laughs> the hand, the hand was pretty juicy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Speaking of, is he crazy or not? It's yeah. really interesting that the reason he got caught is because he was so paranoid. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's. I think that's why the, the psychologist said that he probably lost it during like the last year of his life yeah right? because he like was when so they caught him yeah that his mom had to seek has a secret knock on the yeah. on his which door. changes like every week or month yeah, month yeah. Yeah. yeah well did he lose it then i mean he just might have been crazy before but yeah. he, before he didn't think anyone no one had a reason to be after him now he was being hunted and then it's like obviously you're gonna be extra paranoid when you know that people are actively looking for you yeah yeah yeah. They don't know you by name yet or face, yeah. but yes, they, they, they know that you're out there. Yeah. And they got that really, really, really close psychological profile into a book before mm. they caught him. And that helped, uh, uh, helped further his paranoia. Definitely. Yeah. 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 No, no, no. I mean, if you start a plan like this and you don't have a, a, an immediate goal, you definitely go crazy during the journey at some point. Definitely. The only guys who can't do, uh, don't do that are Japanese soldiers who are lost in the jungle for like 40 years and then they will bring them back and he's like, what? World War II is over? All right, fine. <laughs> Wait, what? What, yeah, are, what that, are you talking about? <laughs> that, hap- that happened like once or twice already. That there was like in Laos or something like that, the, yeah. the, there were soldiers <laughs> left behind during the Second World War by the Japanese and nev- nobody ever collected them or they thought they were dead. Uh-huh. And But they still had like the, the whole they, they still thought the second world war were going on and because there were no communications or anything and they were just stuck in the jungle for 30 or 40 years how did they survive the foraging it's a jungle man there's food everywhere but how have, like yeah. how after year 10 are you not like hey let's go check the stitch <laughs> out you know like yeah. let's take a peek and Again, see what's going on crazy Japanese. how are you just sitting there for 40 years and then you're like oh all right no they they they, they they, they didn't return they were like found and then they returned and they just 
yeah. by accident like somebody strolled over him basically and they're like oh okay we're still here weird <laughs> and they must be old as fuck now <laughs> yeah this is his old man like yeah. <laughs> Yeah, when he started w enrollment, the one guy, I think he was 16 or 17. When they left him behind in the jungle, he was like 20 or something. So, and when they found him, he was 60 or something. Yeah. Did their, did their families or whatever never be like, hey, where is... <laughs> <laughs> they thought he, they no, were dead, right? Yeah, 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 most were lost in action. So they would just tell action. them that they were dead without even yeah. like... Again, if you have a, 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 an army of millions... You, you lose some. Let's be honest. Let's if be you honest. had a million Lego pieces, you will lose some. All right. Well, if you I, don't, <laughs> I didn't need that analogy to understand how war works. But <laughs> 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 Thank you. Humans are Lego pieces. What do you pieces. mean if you have a million? Okay, Lego pieces. Only, now I'm on board. Now I'm only, on board. They are only useful if you stick them together. <laughs> what? Okay. Legos and humans. Um. <laughs> that is really I had no and then they just seamlessly enter back into society just like well I was not in the forest seamless for not seamlessly but yeah they, <laughs> it's not like they were they were like completely without without any any concept on concept of what a modern society could be okay yeah, like there were still cars there yeah. were still big houses like nothing really dramatically changed yet it's not like Here's, here's a magical device that you can phone your parents with from anywhere on the planet. Or here's, here's a, 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 a rocket that goes to Mars or something like that. Fair enough. Yeah. That's, I guess, the, the, the time limitation where, where they were lucky. <laughs> <laughs> the, it, 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 if it has been it would have been like 10 or 20 years more and like 90 year old soldier in the jungle <laughs> <laughs> Japanese people live long <laughs> yeah holy shit <laughs> yeah it's all that jungle warfare keeps you fresh <laughs> <laughs> try that alright let's move on to my final category okay which is other <laughs> other okay yeah so uh, you know i just want to ask you guys then um what other things did you notice what other things that's, are you thinking about what's on your mind first of all that it was directed by a female director mm -hmm. that was great that was great I'm, I'm i'm always happy to see austrian movies be made by women and this was competently made it's competently made. It's a good yeah. m movie. Gripped me. She did choose Fox okay. as well. It was her. okay. It was okay. Not a bomb a at the office. <laughs> for a woman? <laughs> at the box office. Oh, oh my god. He goes, it was okay for a woman. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, mm -hmm. women are held to way higher standards. They must, exactly. they must succeed 100% of the time. Otherwise, no. Um, exactly. Yes. Um, I, I thought that the, sometimes the interrogation lighting was very very dramatic right yeah. half of his face is like in blackness yeah exactly yeah. and then he comes in, into frame and he's like <laughs> like a batman villain at yeah. some, some sorts yeah so what i noticed was super weird and like i don't know where they put it in the movie was when he was talking about like i don't know wanting to masturbate or something mm -hmm. and it just made made the other guy super uncomfortable oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> they focused on that so much you know like yeah. all these shots of the other guy's face yeah yeah, yeah. the police but interrogator for, yeah, for yeah. what <laughs> reason you know like they just did it for a minute where he was talking about like you know how rousey gets and he imagines like the nurse having like a, another face or something the face of a uh, 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 an old friend a, of a co-worker yeah, yeah something or a like friend that. yeah and then the guy just, it just stops when the, when the interrogator is just like, all right, next question. <laughs> yeah, he just totally ignores it. Yeah, He's fair like, enough. I don't want to talk yeah. about that. <laughs> yeah. I dude, feel like they included dude, it just your to... mass murder. I don't want to hear your jerk yeah. stories. I, I uh, barely tor tor tolerate that with my friends, but you, nah, we're not yeah. that close. <laughs> I feel like they included it as part of their whole, like, he was twisted with the ladies kind of like thing. <laughs> <laughs> like, they were so interested in his, but like, sexuality. But it wasn't sexuality. coherent. Like, they, they, exactly, that, that yeah. scene was like, I don't know, 15 minutes later or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was just like, the, it was no conclusion to it. It no. was just like him saying he was, and it, it wasn't even introduced. They were talking about <laughs> something totally different. Yeah. <laughs> the police is asking him questions. Suddenly he's like, 
yeah, I was really horny a lot. <laughs> then I wasn't so horny, you know, after I lost my hands. <laughs> now I'm so horny like a again. Day or so. For a day or so, now I'm really horny again, and I kind of have these thoughts about the nurse. And then he got the prost- prosthetic arm yeah, a while back. Which he was not happy with. No, he wanted... Because uh, those were not masturbation material. No, he wanted one with the, with the nerve on. receptor. No, the flashlight. <laughs> He's like, just screw on a flashlight. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the most useful prosthetic, I guess. Yeah, for him. I mean, he's already used to using stumps. Look, Might as well have the stump have a look, plastic. Look, a vibrator vagina. is way easier to make because the you just make What's an it? arm that vibrates. So you think but, he's gay and he's gonna put it in his own anus, or how is he gonna use straight a men use anal sex too? Don't don't pigeonhole people. Fair enough, but yeah. he didn't but seem so like. like <laughs> uh, I guess, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> His whole arms are shaking. Knees weak. <laughs> All I could do when during that scene was like imagine him <laughs> masturbating with his bandaged stumps you know <laughs> and it was uncomfortable i felt the same thing that the police yeah. felt yeah. the police was like oh my god i hate my job <laughs> <laughs> especially the guy who had to watch over him and like brush uh, uh put put uh toothpaste on, on his brush. on his toothbrush yeah. and everything yeah yeah he was not happy he but in zero percent of the time he was happy but in the end when he like left when they took him from yeah. there it looked like he was like Looking into the car longingly. <laughs> don't, don't go. Yeah, we became so close. <laughs> Another I mean, he was counting his, pa- his paces. Hmm? Yeah. He was counting his paces. Yeah. He's right. like, 700 paces in the morning, 700 paces in the evening. I thought that was just some attentive detail because... It was pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm still amazed that they, did, they didn't use the same precautions uh, after they pulled him out of this room because that room they said it themselves they built specifically for him to hold him there yeah, yeah. and that's just a an amazing multi-purpose room for that purpose yeah. to keep somebody that crazy in there and at the same time let him not kill himself why did they <laughs> move him to like a fur- fully furnished place because because the other place was a holding s- an intermediary holding self for uh, what's it called? Um, um, For um, people that are under investigation. Yes, under investigation, but not indicted yet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Indicted? Is that the right word? Uh, uh, um, ask the natives. Yeah. Uh, indicted? Yeah. Is that the right word? Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Yeah. cool. Cool, 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 cool. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, so, so, so um, yeah, they moved him to a regular uh, prison, basically. Max security prison. And they, <laughs> max security prisons are apparently have enough tools in them to kill yourself. Yeah, and again, that, 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 there you see Austrian uh, craftsmanship at its best because that nail was strong as a yeah. motherfucker. So he hanged himself with a like telephone cable on a random nail. Yeah, no, it was like a like a for the cross that you normally put up. No, it was for the cross. Didn't he take like a whole like uh, a shelf off? Of oh, it, right? uh, maybe yeah. I don't uh, know. It was like for some shelf. Okay. So, a shelf yeah. is not for 80 kilos, uh, 70 kilos, whatever. Yeah, yeah, whatever he weighs, weighed, yeah. yeah, but enough. He wasn't, yeah, he, yeah. he wasn't, he wasn't, he wasn't, he wasn't cat mossing it. <laughs> <laughs> didn't look like it, no. Well, you know, he was missing two arms, so. Yeah, but did you look at the food that he had? Great, yeah, it was great. He I didn't eat, eat so a much. bite before he killed himself. Maybe that was the reason. <laughs> I'm gonna risk it, you know. This is shit food. I'm gonna hang myself. No, maybe he was like, oh. Oh, I don't want to put on some weight now and risk like <laughs> the nail look. not. Suicide will lose you 80 kilograms at once. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that went. That was super dark. Yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, what else? Um, I have. Uh, um, for a minute, I I thought this is gonna turn into. <laughs> anti-globalization thing because he was ranting so much about the immigrants yeah and i was like dude you should have done that 30 years ago <laughs> because <laughs> fox get on the ball <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah he, he was way late on that train because because uh, well, i guess he didn't reach the, you know like terrorist maturity because until the, <laughs> those were already they were already they were already into in, very intimate talks with the EU at that point that the Austria is going to join the EU and everything that was all in the process of being done during mm-hmm. that time frame. 
So just 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 and and the Tur most of the Turkish migrants actually came here during the 60s and 70s during the massive doom bo doom boom during the massive boom, the doom, the doom, the the doom massive, of Austria, the massive, the massive boom in Austria, where we had zero percent <laughs> unemployment rate, basically, and <laughs> this is so weird. <laughs> <laughs> Hannah was just looking through the pop filter, yeah. and it weirdly enhanced her face. I thought it was going to stay between us. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I can cut it out if you want to. No. You have you have last last cutting rights. What? Get, get the boss I'm going to cut the, the first 50 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> we start now. <laughs> <laughs> no. Actually, we are nearing the conclusion. I'm, I'm, I'm slightly, slightly expecting. Uh, I slightly expected this uh, to get off the uh, off the tracks. But yeah, you, you kept it there. I liked it. Thank Impressive. you. Impressive. Yeah. Yeah. Feels, feels nice to let, let, let go of control a little bit. <laughs> He's on drugs right now. <laughs> <laughs> Feels nice to finally relax. <laughs> I can finally hang back and just make dick shows. Dick shows. Dick dick shows. <laughs> <laughs> finally make my dick shows. <laughs> 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 oh, no, my no, like an Adi shock, but for shaped like a dick. A dick show. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. An image. It's my, it's my new wanted. passion. <laughs> All right. Growing dick jokes. No one can take that away from you. <laughs> I'm a gardener now. Oh. I, only <laughs> yeah. I did not know. Uh, have you seen my balcony? I grow so much basil. I would love to look yeah. at it now because I'm sweating a storm. Yes, me too. All right. Yeah, you. Sorry. Yeah, yeah let's wrap it up. Okay. Uh, Any final thoughts? Any final goodbyes? Final thoughts. Final. Final thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> You're Beautiful. so not on board with this one. I, I, I love it. <laughs> All right, like final Paris thoughts. Is, is, is like, I love this way he's <laughs> saying the segment, so you do it again, girl. <laughs> you do it exactly again. <laughs> um, <laughs> final conclusion. Um, Final thoughts. Oh, final thoughts. Are you Sorry. listening? God. <laughs> no, okay, we're listening. starting over. We're starting. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, I, I like the movie. It's a good movie. Uh, mm -hmm. I wouldn't watch it again, ever. <laughs> ever. No. Ever. Uh, except for somebody who was like, who's Franz Fuchs? And it's my class yeah. of children that I have to teach. And I'm like, all right. You're the class of children? Yeah. So you're both growing I'm I'm studying dick jokes? And, <laughs> and I'm studying to become a high school teacher. Uh, yes. And it's going to be history. And if it's Austrian history, I'm going to include the one Austrian terrorist. Fair enough. <laughs> like, look, we did something yeah. horrible to him. Yeah. So we did years. something horrible. That's all we did. Are you sure? <laughs> in the last we 30 did one years. Bad thing. Oh. I said in the last Sorry, 30 I that years. Part. I still think you've done worse things. In the last 30 years? Yeah, I I'm guess sure letting, you, you, letting you in was a bad idea. Like him oh. specifically or? <laughs> oh, that was mean. I'm sorry. Yeah, Paul specifically, I'm sure it's done worse things than, <laughs> than Franz Fox. <laughs> Franz Fox better. <laughs> <laughs> Sequel. <laughs> <laughs> Franz Fox better. <laughs> two, two patriots. <laughs> Franz Fox two patriots better. <laughs> Anyway, yeah. I thought it was okay. I thought it had like very interesting moments. Right. Where like, ooh, they're, you know. Intriguing. Yeah, they're exploring something quite fascinating. And then at other points, I was just like, it felt like they're making this thing that has already seems to have a lot of hype around it. They're just like, you know, it just presenting the hype. It's just like hype, yeah. hype, 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 you know. And uh, yeah, I, I was. I was Middle I was of okay. the road. Yes. Okay. Not horrible, not an yeah. amazing way. Like, yeah. oh, this is an Oscar snub, yeah. which is not, which it is uh, definitely not. Absolutely not. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, I like the movie. I thought, um, <laughs> you know, they try to make it to some, like, make it in something it wasn't really, like, make it super personal and, like, you get to know the person who's the killer. Yeah. I feel like they could have, you know, just cut it, like, 30 minutes short. Or, like, All right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Fair enough. Easily. Yeah. 
like cut out all the masturbation and like <laughs> girlfriend stuff and like cut out know. the weird scenes where yeah. she's driving in the dark i think like, yeah. I, I think karl markovich <laughs> mandated those I acted my ass off during those Charkov scenes. Yeah. I don't even have ha even have hands to gesture. <laughs> yeah, probably, probably. Yeah, but uh, I couldn't know. even make this movement. <laughs> uh, people don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's that's a very visual podcast joke for you guys. Yep. Uh, <laughs> uh, anyway. Yes. Well, great, great job, everyone. I'm really glad Thank we you. had this talk. Thank yeah. you. Uh, Thank you. Plugs. Uh, plugs, yes. Oh, uh, well. Applause? Oh, well, this won't come out before my final no, show. No, sorry. So if you want to catch me do comedy, you got to catch me in San Francisco, the Bay Area. Fuck yeah. Follow me on Facebook, Hannah Evanson Dash Comedy. Uh huh. Um, you can um, follow Paris uh, on the street. On the street. <laughs> As always, yeah. As always. Have you, have you seen that I, that I put it in the description of the last one? Yeah, beautiful. <laughs> I did It'll like be on it. his usual corner. Yes. Wink, wink. Uh huh. Yeah. Right on. Yeah. Uh, can I say some closing words? Of course. Um, have, thank you for, for, for being here, for being in Vienna. It has been a great time with you, really. It, 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 you brightened up the, the Austrian comedy scene. Thank you. Uh, fuck you, That's Paris. <laughs> this is not. This is. I'm coming to you later, man. Just yeah. wait a bit, yeah. Okay, sunny, 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 good look, boy. Um, <laughs> um, Chocolate yeah. Lab. Yes, Mr. Chocolate Lab. Um, yeah, just thank you again for for being here and 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 making making the scene better and 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 just being a, a great great person to hang out with and be around with. Just thank you. Oh, that's extremely touching. Thank like, you, Paul. It's, let's stay here. It, it really. Let's see. Yeah, I'll stay. You know what? <laughs> Cancel the flights. I'm staying. <laughs> no, but really, it has been such a pleasure to mm -hmm. hang out with you in comedy and podcasts and right. extra curricularly. You know. Yes. As as we do. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> it's been, <laughs> it, no, it's been um, really my pleasure. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, Paris, you sack of shit. <laughs> <laughs> you interrupting sack of shit. Wow, that's a roller I, I coaster <laughs> promotions. <laughs> 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 I will miss you too, man. It, it, we, we. I think you are the first uh, male friend where I was not intimidated by the looks, even though I should be, which is quite an accomplishment. You should not be. <laughs> 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 Well, yeah, I don't know what to respond to that. Thank you, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I'm also not intimidated by your looks. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, please don't judge me by my first Facebook page photo. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I think uh, you're the first person that talks so much that I actually like a lot. So. <laughs> that is that yeah. is the highest of compliments that you can pay right? some, somebody like me. Thank you so much, man. It, it has been a pleasure, and uh, I hope yeah. we will see each other in the um, future again. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure we will. I mean, TBD, right? TBD. That's a, that's a disease. To be announced or to be dated. Whatever. Yes. Yeah. Uh, to be fucked. <laughs> TBF. <laughs> to be fucks. <laughs> to be fucks. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's that what, what TBS stands for? To be sucked? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> to be served. <laughs> Oh, nice. No idea. I <laughs> it's have the, no idea. It's the sexual fetish <laughs> channel, TBS. <laughs> to be served. <laughs> oh, it's just a cooking channel. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> you want to close up the podcast? I'm going to let you do it. You really? Do best. Really? Yeah. Yes. Thank you guys for being here. It has been a great pleasure. Guys, if you uh, want to see Hannah Evanson online, just check out her stuff in the links below. Uh, Paris again follow on the streets me you can find on ffp.at you can find me on ffp underscore aut I will soon have a stand up page finally on Facebook that you can Ooh. like as well yeah yeah uh, I'm anxious actually because my, my, my name is so generic mm -hmm. now my stage name yeah. that, that I'm afraid that already three other people have that same stage name we will see um, yes. yeah um, till the next time bye bye Bye-bye. I still don't have a sign-off. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>